Live from West Philadelphia, it's UFA action and an Eastern Division grudge match. Two offense would work. Here's a huck downfield. Pollard chasing after it. It's intended for Robinson, who tracks it down in the end zone for a goal. Toronto attacking early on as they shoot a huck over Pollard. And Robinson has the first. Huang takes a shot. Wind lets it hang. And in the end zone, Toronto has their first break of the day. Adam Turcott hauls it in within the end zone. So Philadelphia getting the disc in good possession, but costly turnovers leading to break opportunities with the rush knocking on the door. McLean dumps to Caravallo. So the nice hammer to switch the field, gain a bunch of yards, and we've got an open receiver just standing in the end zone at this point. A little bit of blown coverage there. From As Toronto looking for another break, here's a huck broken up by Suvorov, but caught. What a play. Keith McRae stays with it, and Toronto scores. One of the better plays you'll see all season in the UFA. Always a matter of focusing on it as you go, believing that you're going to have the opportunity to make that play off of a carom disc. Keith McRae for the rush. No, they're going deeper right away. Here's a shot for the end zone. And it's an easy score, Griffin McKee. And here's a turn broken up by Adam Turcott. McRae wants end zone. Turner's the target. It hangs. And it's in the hand of Phil Turner, who skies two defenders as Toronto can do no wrong in the first. And have a chance to be. Seven seconds on the clock. Blade to the end zone. Score. Toronto again. This time it's Rui Carvalho as the worst team a year ago. Here's Chun Moy taking a shot for Pollard. It's broken up and out the back. Phil Turner continuing to put one for Toronto. Here's a rip down the field. An excellent throw on the line for Shea, who's in for the score as Toronto bruises Philadelphia. Good movement here by the Phoenix and a great grab in the end zone by Trifilis. Owens and finds the hands of Comire. Luke Comire. And then an open man in the end zone. It's Ryan Polaz as Toronto with another. McCray unable to handle it. Mott throws quickly for Maroon as the Phoenix have their sixth goal of the day. Made a nice play to get it. And he takes the hammer down that far sideline. What a throw, able to find Kamire. The creativity for Toronto today. And now Trisolini takes a shot for Martin. Good angle, Martin tracks it down. He's a few yards shy of Paydirt as he flips for Thorne. Front cone, Martin through contact, count it. Seventh goal this year for Greg Martin, who has struggled, hasn't been the productive goal scorer that we've seen in previous years, but he gets on the board here with Philly's set. Angle a little bit, I'm not sure that uh, necessitated a call as Philadelphia gets the disc with a very short field. Pastor up to Owens. Break chance here for the Phoenix with under 10 seconds and a half, a floater in the end zone and Trifilis has it for the break. A good trusting receiver there, decent spacing. Stadium. Toronto looking for a buzzer beater, but they won't. But it wasn't that way in the first half. Philly generates an early turn, much needed as it's Owens with the block just shy of the end zone. And Pollard flips for Campanella as the Phoenix start the third quarter with a break. And that's their second consecutive break to start. Departs with an injury replaced by Chun Moy. Marioka with a nice blade towards the end zone. It finds Kumire just shy of the goal but he flips it into McKee to finish the play. Another creative throw by Akafumi Mur Ryan takes a deep shot. Maroon's the target, he's double covered. Bumping into some contact and blocked by Shea. Nathan Shea with a good read. He came from off of Maroon, but 
wise decision there to take key. Marioka with a floating pass to the close sideline, blocked by pa Pastor, I liked that play, and I thought Philadelphia was going to get a good opportunity. Now Marioka gets denied. Trifilis with an excellent effort to come away with the block. That the momentum of the game could be switching right now. Deep shot for Stonehouse. One-on-one -on -one with Whitmer. Rejected. Big block by Eric Whitmer battling with Oscar Stonehouse. Downfield cutters Nardelli and Pollard are cover covering up lots of yardage. Owens to Pollard. What a grab. James Pollard makes it a two-score contest as Philly breaks Toronto again. I'm not entirely sure any other receiver for Philadelphia. Vertical stack here centered immediately. Now a deep look. One-on-one -on -one downfield, broken up. Another great defensive play. This one by the end zone shot. Sean Moy, will it hang? Yes! Tie game, 14 apiece, and Philadelphia. Komire with a great catch by McKee. He fires to the end zone at the horn. And I can understand why, as Mott takes a shot to the end zone for Maroon, who's in for the score. Second career goal for Maroon, second of the Toronto 6-2 in the third quarter. Here's a deep shot intended for Stonehouse, who tracks it down for the score. Big response for Toronto. Even though he didn't get the... Staring at it. There you see it right there. It's like eight steps. <laughs> Suvorov takes a shot for Martin. Contested grab. And he climbs the ladder for the score. Greg Martin printing a poster in the end zone. And we're back even at... Rodriguez to Little. He takes a deep shot. Whitmer one-on-one -on -one downfield. Has it through. Hey. Chun Moy straddles the end zone. Not in for a goal. But he finds Owens. And Philadelphia with its first lead of the contest as they climb all the way back from an eight goal deficit. Campanella with Pollard streaking deep and underthrown, but Pollard with an incredible grab and he's got a wide open Trifilis to double the Philadelphia lead. James Pollard going off here at home. And just second effort able to haul it in. And he throws a blade one-on-one -on -one to Little, can't climb, will expire with the Phoenix ahead of their opponent at the end of regulation for the first time this season.